Now I've downloaded the Dropcam app. Let's launch it. And now he's asking me for my username and password. Oh, it's not say allow for now, sure. Uh, so immediately I see my drop cam. It's a wave to the camera. Okay, let's see if I can uh, maximize this. I just touched it once. Now it's maximized. And the sound is also coming from the iPad. Now it's looping because everything just is too close to each other. Let's see how can I mute the sound? Testing one, two, three. Okay, so there's a speaker button. Hmm, interesting. I don't see a quick way to release or mute the audio on here. All right, I'll just turn off the sound on on the iPad itself. So right here it tells me that it's live. Let me check out past events. So these were the markers that I identified before when we found movement. Let me start scrubbing through this. So earlier when I set it up, I set the motion alerts set to on. So whenever I detect motion, it made a marker in a time stream. And I could save a clip of it too if I wanted. There's, there's also other day, the days of the week here. So right now I'm only browsing today. So if I had this on for, let's see, a couple of days, I can browse to like fri past Friday, for example, if I wanted. Okay, now, so let me, now let, let me go back to the live video. So on the lower right, let's go say go live. It's taking a while to load. Okay. Now it's back to live. Thanks for watching this setup of the drop cam. Stay tuned. I'll be using this for a while and later I'll do a comparison video. Okay, thanks for watching Walk Hamster. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to send to me.